Welcome back everybody to Mario 3D World and I already found the last star how do you crouch in this one? oh like that so yeah that's where it is now I need to get to the exit in one piece which is another challenge on its own well actually it shouldn't be too bad all I need to do is make the jumps at the right times and it's right here as you can see okay So all this left in theory is the castle, but I would like to explore some more and see what it can actually unlock with the green stars. First things first. I guess we're gonna go pay a visit to the mushroom house. Well mushroom houses usually give you items, right? Okay, you're gonna choose actually here. Yeah, Katsuda, I guess, is the better of the bunch. But one at a time, basically. And the other one for, you know, power up in reserve. Okay, uh, let's take a look at the previous worlds. I'm actually curious about the statue thing, which honestly I didn't explore or did not want to bother. Maybe that's the whole point of spending the stars. I don't know if they actually give you access to other worlds or just isolated levels. Or maybe both. An extra, an extra level that takes you somewhere else in the end. I mean, as you can see, this is something that you end up unlocking by beating, I guess, the level that you will unlock right here. So an extra level, 2-2. Uh, I need to... Oh my god, why is it forcing me to do this? Uh, okay, I did not want to have a partner here. Oh, it is necessary to have a partner? Uh, I don't see myself playing this one then. No. Like, forcing you to? Problem is, I already spent the, the money for it. So, what I'm gonna do is... Close the game. I don't think it's saved after I spend the money, because it didn't save after, after I did it, actually, the... Uh, two or three parts prior. Let's wait until this thing actually loads the disc. Sorry about this. Even though I was actually just intending to finish this world in this one part, even though it might be like a shorter part. Even though I don't think that's gonna happen since Castle levels tend to be a little bit of a um, pain. Okay, there it is. Yeah, I don't want partners or mandatory levels that make you co-op. Yeah, this is the last time he's saved. Last point. Let's see if the same thing happens in this one level right here with this statue. I mean, if it is mandatory, I guess I will have to, like, play with someone else off-screen or something. But you're not gonna make me co-op as part of my playthrough if I wanna do it solo. 
Okay, this is a level that you can actually play by yourself. Chain Link Charge. I remember seeing this one actually. And Catsuit seems to be like suitable. I'm quite done with this music already. From the uh, from the switch level from before. Green star already. You better keep this power for the rest of the level. Oh, okay, the donuts fall regardless. Yeah, something told me actually that I shouldn't get in there, or maybe I should? No, I shouldn't. Okay, it's like, it's good news that the camera stops moving. Okay, why doesn't it do the, the hovering move? There are a lot of controls I'm not familiar with, or I don't know. The second green star was right there. This is what he meant to do. Okay. Dude, seriously, it, it's so difficult to control the landings in small platforms like this. And it only happens on in 3D games. Oh no, catsuit. So you cannot climb these so easily. Anymore. Matter of fact, probably won't be able to get the green star if you rush me. Okay, I can, but with a wall jump essentially. Oh man, the, the holding the the run button is not enough to perform hard jumps. Hopefully, I'm not gonna run out of lives. Dude, for some reason I kind of expected this. I mean, what would be the point of having three blocks with nothing in them? Well, that's the fucking point. <laughs> An extra power-up. Okay, what is going on? I mean, I'll take this, but... This part. Why does it do that? I, I'm not pressing the button. Or I think I'm not. I mean, my, maybe I'm accidentally pressing the one of the shoulder buttons, but that, uh, that's definitely not what I'm trying to do. In crucial jumps like that, dude, it's happening like way too often. Whoa. Okay, I already got the two cat suits. Yeah, but I feel like at this point there are an excessive amount of levels with too many pits. 
I mean, I guess that's the main difficulty to the game by now, not just run around and kill enemies that can kill you. It's, it's just... Yeah, of course, they are holding my hand now because I, they realize how shitty I am. You know, in the end, I think this would work better. Unless the camera fucks me. Am I invincible? So is that the whole point of this... Variation to to this power up, but I can control my landing. I think this power up might suit better than the actual cat suit. Yeah, they end up holding my hand. They realize I suck so much, but yeah, they they start like overdoing it with athletic levels. It's like I don't know. They're kind of running out of ideas. Or maybe they are enough creative ideas, but all of them have, like, the, the same... You know, the same trap in all of them. Okay, now, how do I get out of this? Like that. Alright, it's a good thing that I actually got a checkpoint. I still need to get another star and fucking 3D perspective. I, I, I still cannot understand until now. Like dying by falling to the sides when I'm clearly was not trying to get any weird thing. Yeah, I'm supposed to be invincible with this power up. Not what I expect from a game to actually hold my hand like that, but I mean it's the, the minimal compensation I would expect from levels like this that are becoming too common from my personal preference. I saw the stamp. Maybe I should have uh, taken it from the other side. Is it possible? And at some point I got like near 25 lives. We have reached this south point of running out of lives. So when I said in some moment that lives were not the problem, now they are. We completely forgot. Like, we, we are on fences. Oh, I need a cat suit for this? But how do I give up on this one power? I'm maybe not getting it. Yeah, I'm keeping the cat suit, I guess. Again, 3D perspective. I'm jumping forward and it goes sideways. Literally. I don't know. I'm trying to go down, not go like off the little platform. This is a Mario game, so I haven't reached a point of frustration. Like, ang real anger, but yeah, it is frustrating. Like, like I said, um, holding the run button does not really guarantee a high jump. I, I really want to say that the problem is me, but... I don't know, it seems like sometimes D-pad doesn't really go the direction I want it to go, and it does something completely different. I 
and it keeps on doing the um, the ground pound even though I am completely positive that I did not press any of the shoulder buttons so yeah I'm starting to think that the game does what it wants uh, in certain points of being special in me there Yeah, I mean, to make things worse, auto scroller. And do or die situations. I mean, if you don't make the jump quickly enough, the platform disappears and you die. And of course, there is something else blocking your way, in this case, those fences. So, yeah. It's challenging. I mean, I understand like the success to this game for for what it offers. But it feels like the execution to some of these things is like too finicky, too demanding in terms of the controls. I know I'm not I'm I'm going to beat this eventually. And even if I run out of lives, I know I'm gonna be given continues. I mean, it's not frustrating from from that point of view, but it's basically the the feel like uh, because of these little tiny things, you stop like enjoying the game, like that for example. I'm trying to jump back from the fence so I can get to the other fence but it does whatever else except what I want this to do you know what I mean and like I said many times I know you're gonna you're saying to yourself and you're so tempted maybe some of you to comment on the video saying that I don't know how to play uh, but I feel like knowing what how to play is not enough you have to be like perfect at playing, executed perfectly, first try or, or else you die. Like I said, I, I, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to jump over, not to dive into the hole. <laughs> See, it's like... It, it really wants me to stand still and, and basically react to things I mean now I got the hand to this part specifically so maybe it's not a problem any longer but it is another scholar in an athletic level full of pits it really wants me to stand still I make the just the necessary amount of jumps I'm not trying to ground pound. I'm trying to, you know, hold the ram button and jump forward. Why doesn't it do that in, in, in when when it wanted to be, or when it wanted to the game to react like that? It does something different. I'm not pressing the shoulder buttons. I'm my my fingers are away from them. But it does the ground pound when I'm holding the two buttons at the same time. That's not supposed to be the way, right? To activate that? Like, right now I'm holding and the, the run and, and jump buttons and nothing but those buttons. And I don't know. I don't understand how it works. For example, that. I don't know. I, I'm not trying to do, like, fancy extra moves. I'm just jumping while holding the run button. I, I don't understand. Yeah, and I had to reach the point of practically being level with one life left. What the real actual fuck? Again, I mean, I still think this game is great. 
got like lots of creativity and it gave a, a, the, the Mario series a fresh um, a fresh touch but sometimes the controls are a real nightmare like all 3D Mario games for that matter I mean, yeah, they casualize the series to the point of basically granting you infinite tries. That again, that's not gonna be the issue. But it is unnecessarily frustrating at times. Anyway, <clears throat> I know I'm gonna win eventually, so I'll make an effort to complain less and enjoy more, even though at times the game makes sure I'm not actually enjoying. I wasted more than 15 minutes in this part alone. My first start was an easy one, of course I say that as I get hit. Katsut would be like, kind of necessary. I'm on my last life, so if I don't beat this level here, uh, okay. It's doing anything. It's doing whatever. Ground pounds in me there, uh, jumping, like hovering. All I'm trying to do is jump over a bunch of enemies. That's all I'm trying to do. I don't know why the game in, in such situations responds in a different way. Like, it seems like, I don't know, I'm, I'm sure it's not the case, but the impression I get is that the game loses the control of itself after Mario gets hit and... and it seems like anything else or does anything else but what basically what you are commanding this to do. It's weird, it, it's uh, difficult to explain. Okay, here maybe I should wait for the bullet bills to do the job and I didn't see myself of course. Maybe you got pushed by the uh, bullet bill, so let's take... I mean, let's get the... Um, let's give credit to the enemy. And, and as far as I remember, these levels don't have checkpoints. Also, another auto scroller. Another point to make there that are a little over, you know, overdoing it a little with those. Alright, two stars out of the three. I'm trying to move like slowly. Sides. All right, there is no item of a vital importance. Okay, maybe I ended up missing something already. Maybe that was the stamp what I missed. And here comes the boss battle. Very short level. Oh no, that's not all. Oh, maybe the, the pipe basically was just the way to get the thing. Hold on. Oh, you are protecting this temp, okay. So that pipe is probably the boss battle. It is still a short level. Okay. So far the bosses haven't been much of an issue. So Wendy Koopa... Pretending to be a ninja. 
I mean, it's interesting actually they give him, give her in this case, like a different theme. Completely forgot actually I got an extra power up, so I guess. Yeah, like the easiest part of out of all of these battles is always the bosses. Yeah, this level compared to the previous one. Still a challenge, but short enough to actually not get too frustrated at it. Oh man. Uh, usually these parts are like 20 minutes long. Well, I took around 5 or 6 minutes more than the usual. And actually felt like a lot longer to me. But no, it wasn't too bad. <laughs> All things considered. But I'm almost out of lives, so clearly I have to take a game over at some point. Like sooner than later. What a frustrating end of the world. <laughs> oh man, but he got it. I mean, like I said, like in the most frustrating part, I, I know that you are gonna win sooner than later, but. Been noticing like all of these boss battles. Sorry, these castles are not real castles, but they are other things like tanks or trains. They, they attempt to be different from actual castles, and they are like other scrollers for the most part, if not in all of the cases. Alright, guys, that's gonna do it for today. Have a good one. See you next week with more Mario 3D World.